Didn't do it. Good morning, BCN. Hi, guys. So we've been doing these words of the day for every day before leading up to Christmas. Um, we've been talking about different elements of some of the words and some of the important aspects of what makes Christmas and what makes it significant and some of the words that are behind it that sometimes we don't always get. And so my word for the day is Emmanuel, and um, which literally translates to, in Hebrew, it translates to God with us. And um, so I know that I've been singing it all morning. My um, favorite Christmas song is O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. And so um, in this song, we can kind of hear the hope of the people of Israel praying for a savior to come and to help them, to guide them, and to give them a place away from being captured. It says, O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. And so there's this idea that the, the people of Israel are, they are stuck. They are, they are in need of a savior and they can't find God where they are. They can't find God in the moments where they are at. Um, they are stuck feeling like they are alone and without God. And they have to recognize in this moment and even in this song that I love um, that there is hope that there is a God that is coming. There is a God who has promised his presence in the future and there's a God that is going to be there for them. And so that is why Emmanuel is so significant because it talks about the idea of God being with us even in the times when it feels like we have to search for him. He is the God who is coming to find us. He is the God who is present and in this Christmas season, I know that sometimes it's really hard for us to find that. And so um, I want to look through um, kind of when the prophecy is fulfilled in a little part of the Christmas story. So it is when an angel appears to Joseph and he tells him all these things about the birth of the Messiah that is coming through his wife Mary. And it says, all of this took place to fulfill what the Lord has said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. And so in this moment when Israel is praying for some kind of an answer, some kind of hope, they are, they, the, all their prayers are answered in the form of a baby. In the form of a baby being born to their people who will grow and be raised up in the ways of them. And it's in this moment that we can see that the people are looking for a form of God and he, is, he has come to them in the form of a baby. He is God with them in their own flesh and blood, which is really crazy to see. And I know Alyssa did the word incarnation a couple of days ago or maybe even a week ago, but it's really crazy to see the ways that God has taken on our flesh. He's taken on our form in order that he can actually be the God that is with us. The God that is not only acting on our behalf, but is acting with us, which is super amazing. And so while we can admit that this is incredible and it's a great story to read, um, sometimes it's hard to see where it applies to our own Christmas narrative. Um, and I know that sometimes um, Christmas can either be a really, really joyous time. I have, I love the moments looking forward to Christmas, but then there's also the times when you're standing in line waiting to buy things after things after things and just keep on, oh my goodness, the traffic right now is ridiculous, you guys. And um, so it's in those moments, or even when people are experiencing grief or moments where they can't seem to find hope in this Christmas season, because I know that's really easy too, because sometimes when it feels like we are being told that this is a happy season, it reminds us of the people that we aren't able to experience that with. Um, and so what does it mean when we are also in these moments of going, O come, O come, Emmanuel, save us, dear Lord, because we can't see you working right now. What does that mean for us? Um, I know that we can often find ourselves in a spot of drought, wondering where God could be in the moments. Um, and so we can take hope in knowing that Emmanuel and God with us is not a God who has come and who has left. And that when Jesus came and when he left this earth, that does not mean that that was the end of God being with us. That in these moments that God is with us from the moment that we've been walking on the earth until the moment that we aren't. And so God is a God that will always be with us. That even when Jesus was walking on the earth, he was with us in, his own in our own flesh and blood. That does not mean that God is not continually with us. And so we can take hope in this Christmas season that even though sometimes it feels like we have to actively search for God, we can know that he is a God who has come to save Israel and he is a God that has come to save us. And he is a God that is God with us no matter what is going on. So I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and continue to watch and see what these words are and how they can help you out and recognize where the Christmas season is around us. So thanks guys.